Well, they answer the call when you have an emergency. Now, area first responders need your help. Bragging rights are on the line in the 8th Annual American Red Cross News Channel 11 Battle of the Badges. When EMS responds to all various emergencies, whether it's trauma or medical, there's so much that we can do, and there's a lot of things that we can't do. And, um, we can provide a lot, of, a lot of therapies and treatments regarding IV therapy, um, starting um, lines on patients, giving them life-saving oxygen, as well as other treatments and medications that we can do. But what we don't see, whether it's external or internal bleeding, the end result is the patient needs hemoglobin. Hemoglobin is the oxygen-carrying component of blood, and the way that they can get that is by receiving whole blood, and the only way that they can receive whole blood is through the donation, like what the Red Cross is doing. There are so many people that I'm sure you treat and you help that had no clue that day that they are going to need blood. Correct. You never know what's going to happen when you wake up, hit that alarm, and step out the door, whether it's an auto accident or any type of traumatic experience. And sometimes it's a medical internal injury that they have that might be uh, produced where blood's going to be needed for that as well. Well, I know something that you all talk about at the American Red Cross often is how many people you can save with just one donation. Right. One donation can potentially help up to three separate people because we take the blood to the lab and separate it into its various components of red cells, plasma, and platelets. So it's a huge contribution. People get blood. Well, last week on New Channel 11 noon, Josh Smith, the champ that he is, <laughs> showed everyone how easy of a process it is to give blood. Mike, you're going to give blood at some point. You're on duty today. You're not going to give blood today. But uh, I think uh, one thing that people oh, sometimes fear is that, oh, yeah. I'm going to be there forever. You see Josh right there. It doesn't take that long, right? No, it doesn't. Um, our goal is to get people in and out in about an hour. Josh went through it on the news the other day. It took him just a little more than, than 30 minutes. You have three opportunities to roll up your sleeves today. If this is catching your attention and you want to help out, the American Red Cross Donor Center is open now and will remain open until 7 this evening. It's located in Johnson City at 818 Sunset Drive. The American Red Cross in Kingsport on Eastern Star Road will open its doors at 1, about 40 minutes, and will remain open until 5.30 tonight to take blood donations. And for those of you in Elizabethan, a drive kicks off at 1.30 and continues until 6 o'clock at Oak Street Baptist Church. Gwen, thank you for being here. Let's give everyone a home an idea of how the battle is shaping up. Mike, you as well. I know you all are in third place right now, so you can pick uh, who you want to donate uh, your blood and give them points to your favorite uh, responding uh, crew. We'll be right back. A dozen blood drives, more than 300 units collected, and votes cast for more than 30 first responder teams across the region. We'll call the ninth annual American Red Cross News Channel 11 Battle of the Badges a big success. Oh, definitely. So now it's time to see which first responder team won bragging rights as champion of the 2014 Battle of the Badges campaign. Well, congratulations once again. Chief Soroy, your department Great. has been uh, elected by our community as the one who got who, who they most wanted to honor in this uh, ninth annual Battle of the Badges. So our Battle of the Badges winner, the Johnson City Police Department. The campaign was close. The JCPD won by only seven votes. Jonesboro Police claimed second place. Washington County EMS was in third place. The real winners in this friendly competition, though, are neighborhoods. We're pleased that so many people came out and so many people cast their vote for uh, the different emergency services that participated in this event and that people gave. And it's a friendly competition, but what the real benefit is, um, is to the community. Again, we'd like to thank all of the donors who rolled up their sleeves and donated blood in this year's Battle of the Badges campaign.